All these years, I've wondered who my birth mother was, and she lives 10 minutes away from me in the same city. Amazing. Four months after 47-year-old Patricia began searching for her birth mother, she stumbled upon a jaw-dropping discovery. I said, no. I said, that can't be. This single mother from Milwaukee found out her birth mother is my mother, Bernita Lee, making Patricia, my half-sister, who I never even knew existed. When Patricia first discovered the connection in 2007, she tried three times to reach Bernita, but Bernita wasn't ready. Yeah, I was very hurt. Very. I just had to let it go. Despite feeling rejected, Patricia kept it a secret, fearing that it would become a media frenzy. I remember just still worrying um, about my older sister and just praying to God that nothing gets out. I did not want her hurt. So for months, no one in my family told me any of this was going on. I had no idea that my mother had given up a baby in 1963. I was nine years old at the time, living with my father in Nashville, and didn't even know my mother was pregnant. I grew up uh, for four and a half years with two half-siblings, Pat and Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey died in 1989, and uh, Pat died in... Uh, 2003. So imagine my shock just a few months ago, it was the end of October, really, right before Thanksgiving, I found out that I have another sister living just 90 minutes away in Milwaukee. What's even more unbelievable is that she has the same name as my first sister who passed away, Patricia. So you're with me? You following the story? Both sisters are named Patricia. So to keep them straight, we'll call the sister I just learned about, Patricia, and my other sister who passed away in 2003, we'll call her Pat. So let's get back to how all of this happened. At this point, only Patricia and her two children have figured out that we are related. And they figured this out in 2007 and have been holding that secret. Patricia isn't quite sure what to do next, but she sees this article about my niece, who is the daughter of my first sister, Pat, uh, in a magazine and tracks her down at her Milwaukee area restaurant. Okay, this is, this is all pork. That's your pork. And as soon as I walked in, I felt so odd. Hi, thank you. My niece, Alicia, owns a restaurant called Pat's Rib Place, named after her mother and my sister, Pat, who died in 2003. There are pictures of Pat all over the walls, and one in particular stood out. I'm looking at that picture, and I'm like, oh my god, that is me. That is me. It just looks so much alike. Patricia approaches my niece Alicia to tell her she believes that she's related to our family. I said, I am your mother's sister. And she looked at me like, huh? And I was, at that time, I think she believed me, but she didn't understand because she got very emotional. And as I'm looking at her, I'm like, oh my gosh, she looks like my mom. Then Patricia shows Alicia the proof all the documents that seem to contain our family history. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this, this, this is like really freaking me out here. Let me go get my husband because I must be going crazy or something right now. I'm thinking in my head that, you know, this could be any crackpot out here just claiming to just be related to Oprah. But Alicia's husband, Titus, is shocked by how much this Patricia resembles his deceased mother-in-law, Pat. He looked at me and he said, you look like Ma, you look like her. And he lost it. No, he is not. 
It was the way she spoke. It was the way she moved her hands. Mm -hmm. It was the expressions that she made. Her laughter. It, it was it was her the laughter. Laugh. It was mm -hmm. it was her excitement, her joy. And yeah, I'm a Marine and I couldn't help it. I just bust down crying. Just something about her. It just felt right. Even though Alicia's instincts told her this was true, she wanted to be sure. I just had to prove it somehow. So a week later, Patricia and Alicia take a DNA test. Here are the actual results of that test. It says that there is an 85% positive match. And because they are niece and aunt, it means there's little doubt that they are related. Therefore, we are all related. So here's how I was told. Um, I get an email from Alicia. I get an email from her sister, Krishanda. They say there's something going on in the family you need to know about. Calls go back and forth. They say your mother needs to tell you. I call my mother. My mother tells me nothing. And finally, my cousin Alice calls. And then Alicia calls again. And back and forth and back and forth. And finally, I said to my assistant Libby, what is going on in this family? What is going on? And Libby says, do you want me to tell you? This is 10 minutes before I'm coming down to do a show. I said, yes, would you please tell me? She says, you have a sister. And I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, and so that is how I find out. I call my mother and literally confront my mother with this story. Is this true? Is this true? And um, she finally said, well, yes, I think it's true. And on Thanksgiving Day, Stedman and I drove up to my mother's house in Milwaukee to meet my new sister and her family for the first time. Here's that moment on family home video. Hello. 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 spent the rest of the afternoon getting to know each other and hearing the whole story. So after Thanksgiving dinner, Stedman and I got in the car. Uh, Stedman's driving. We're headed for the interstate back to Chicago. We didn't say a word for miles and miles. Finally, he turned to me and said, what was that? <laughs> it was so uncanny to, 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 to us and to everybody in this family how much this Patricia looked like, moved like, talked like Pat. It was a beloved moment, if you know what I mean. Uh, the daughter who comes back from the dead in the movie Beloved. I didn't even know that my mother gave up a baby for adoption in 1963. I can't tell you how many times I've done a story like this on the Oprah Winfrey Show and seen the surprise on somebody else's face. It's not something I ever thought would happen to me. Uh, or our family. Needless to say, it's something you need to process when it happens. And I'm telling you today because my family and I agreed that we wanted to do it on our terms and not have it become some big tabloid spectacle with all of the facts um, getting confused. So I have told you uh, as honestly as I know how because I wanted you to hear the truth from me. My sister Patricia is here. Come on out, Patricia. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now, I tell you what is so remarkable to me about you and your son and daughter, my new niece and nephew. <laughs> what is so remarkable to me about this story, and it's gonna make me cry, so just be patient. <laughs> Since I have been a person known in the public, there have been few times that I've been anywhere and not been sold out. 
There have been few times where you can bring anybody new into your life and not have that person in some way betray you or use you or take advantage of you. What is so extraordinary about Patricia and Andre and Aquarius is that they have known this secret since 2007. She had tried and tried and tried again, even wrote an email to our offices back in 2007 that we track, but nobody would have given me an email with somebody saying, I'm your sister, had sent me an email, had gone to her pastor who contacted my mother's pastor, who then sent a letter to my mother. She tried and tried and tried again to get responses from my mother and other people in the family. She never once thought to go to the press. She never once thought to sell this story. She never was. So when I heard this about you, when I heard this about you, I said, regardless of where, I didn't know if it was true or not true. Now we know that it is true that you are my sister. When I heard this about you, I said, regardless if it's true or not true, I had to meet you because I wanted to meet somebody who had that kind of character. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so during this whole process of, of trying and trying and trying, you know, I've done these stories where people try and then they're turned down. What made you not give up? One reason why I didn't give up mm -hmm. is because I know that I needed to get it out or get in touch with you so that no one else would put it out there. Mm -hmm. And then another reason is for my children. Mm -hmm. But before you even knew that we shared the same mother, because that moment, I just think that's a God moment that uh, we told in the story, but let me just reiterate it to you. So she's now been turned down for the second time. She'd written a letter to the Department of Family Services and they contacted my mother. My mother said, no, she didn't, wasn't interested. And she waited a year, contacted them again, was rejected the second time. And as she's rejected the second time, in that moment, there's a story on the news about my mother. And she is in front of the television and sees that story. So when you first realize that, oh my goodness, we could share the same mother, what were you thinking? The first thing is, my, I you know, talked to my daughter and I told her to come and watch what I just watched. And she says, Mama, you know, we can't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. And I said, I know that. Because we had to make sure, you know, we had to make sure first of all. And then you can't just go out there and put that out there. You know, that would hurt someone. Mm -hmm. I was so t moved on the tape where you said you were worried that you might, might hurt me. Uh, wh how did you think you would hurt me? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that, if that got out, and it's not fair, number one, mm -hmm. because it's family business, mm -hmm. and family business needs to be handled by family. Well, it is now out there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it was handled by family. Yeah. It shouldn't be handled by anyone else. Mm -hmm. That's not fair. It wouldn't be fair to you. Do you feel now that you have connected with your family, um, do you feel a sense of wholeness and a sense of completion? Oh, yes. Oh, you do? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even though uh, our mother's reaction, was it what you, you thought it would be? That's okay. Because I have my nieces, mm -hmm. I have my nephews and mm -hmm. great nieces, and I have you. Mm. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.